Danby Leads the School Parade by Anna Kim, read by Mrs. Wall. On the first day of my new school in America, my heart beat boom, boom. Mama held me and whispered, listen to your teacher and eat your lunch. I said, don't worry, Mama, I'll be good today. And I walked through the big red door. Boom, boom, everyone stared, but I didn't blink. The teacher handed me a marker, but I wasn't sure why. Boom, boom. So I wrote my name, Danby, in perfect straight lines. It means sweet rain in Korean, but no one knew that here. When the music started, I tried dances I'd never seen and games I didn't know. I tried and tried and tried again. But no one played with me. Clap, clap. The teacher said something and everyone pulled out their lunches. That I knew how to do. Yams and honey, crystal dumplings, sweet and sour mini skewers, rainbow drops and half moon rice cakes dipped in sweet sesame, all my favorites. Wow, everyone cried. The girl with pigtails looked and looked, so I gave her a rainbow drop. Uh-oh, this wasn't working. So I showed her how it's done. Everyone wanted to try it too. Click, clack, click, clack. That gave me an idea. Ting, I tapped my lunchbox. Ding, she tapped her juice box. Ting, ding. And then it got a little wild. Boom, 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 tap, 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 tap. Let's have a parade. We took over the classroom and the playground. I had a feeling I might like it here. At the end of the day, I pointed to my nose and said, Danby. She put her hand on her chest and said, I'm Nellie. Nellie showed me how to write my name in big round letters. And together we wrote our names on our cubbies. That night I told mama, I made a new friend. We'll play again tomorrow. She smiled her big smile. On the fog of the window, I wrote my name, soft and round with a dot just above one straight line. Author's note, I will never forget my first day of school in America. I remember standing in front of the whole class, everyone staring at me, not understanding a word from the teacher. I eventually learned English and grew up to embrace my bicultural identity, but the shock of that first day and the feeling of being an outsider stayed with me. And so when my nieces were born, I looked for fun picture books featuring heroic characters with whom they could identify. If those characters existed, I couldn't find them. And that, that is what inspired me to create Danby. There's a postscript to my first day at school. A few months later, my classmate Mia and I became friends. She was kind and gentle, and I remember her smile to this day. She may not have known it at the time, but her friendship was the first step in my journey to feeling at home in America. My hope is that in reading this story, children will see a bit of themselves in Danby and want her as a friend. 
It is my deep belief that bridging our differences happens one human being at a time, and that once we're connected as friends, we can begin to celebrate our differences.